Cliff bar time. Question is, this actually tripod is a cliff bar box. Cliffs. Not sponsored. Does fucking calorie, uh, calorie deficit have to occur for weight loss to occur? Yes. No. People, as this is this is a trap you're going to get into, right? Let's say you're overweight and you want to lose weight. Everyone's going, calorie deficit, eat, you know, eat less, move more, eat less, move more, you know, just, just cut it back. And that's, that is true, but what about your metabolism? What about your thyroid? When I was doing those, when I took oxymethylone, which is an androlic anadrol, which is a powerful anabolic steroid, my weight went up like seven plus kilos, and I was training the house down and sweating like a motherfucker in Thailand, and the same amount of calories. And I was burning extra calories, but my weight was just, boom. I got, some, you know, people were like noticing, I could tell. I was gaining weight on the same amount of calories. What happened? My body became anabolic from the exogenous anabolic hormones I was popping into my mouth. Just little tiny pills. A pill that weighs nothing was making me gain like seven kilos of muscle and glycogen and water retention. So, and, uh, what are the calories though? People don't understand. They make the mistake. They just focus on calories in, calories out. But they don't think about insulin. They don't think about leptin or ghrelin or haircuts. When I cut my hair off, I lost weight. What weight do you want to lose? Do you want to lose muscle? Do you want to lose excess like fluid, puffiness, contraceptive pill retention? Do you want to lose blood volume? Do you want to lose fat? Do you want to lose muscle by taking cortisones, etc., like a lot of pro endurance athletes will do? To strip off ex ex excess muscle. What do you want to lose? You have to be clear on that. And so I would say, if you want to lose the fat, do you want to lose weight? Then cut off your fucking legs and arms. Cut off your head. Head weighs about 10 kilo. Knock it off. Uh, people just fuck up. You can't, like, that's the worst thing you can do, is have that calorie deficit mindset. Because then you're always living in fear. It's never going to work on terms. No, it's never going to work. It'll work. It can work for decades. But if you hang everyone knows someone who's lean, over 50, coffee, 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 little, like, little nibble. Like, and they look at their food like that. Like, put it down, finish the meal. And always, it's like, always unhappy. And always on the fucking edge, man. No sense of humour. Just, like, just strung the fuck out. I know heaps of cyclists like that. They're just like, so fucked over on caffeine, it's just, they got no sense of humour. They can't take a joke. They're lean ads, but man, like, just, just fucking freak shows. And they're the people that become the Bianca Reese's or the, you know, the Hank Vogels of the cycling world. Just obese, eventually long term, because they didn't know how to eat properly. They relied too much on caffeine to lose weight. So you can lose weight. Fucking yourself over, and you can maintain it, but in the meantime, you're gonna be no one. You're just gonna be fucked in the head, and and you're gonna be eventually. Your body will go look. Fuck it. We need to become overweight to heal ourselves. So you got that part, and everyone's probably been on that part. Freely, it's a lot of people have. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna have to change your lifestyle, and people don't want to do that. People will just will like, oh, I don't want to ride a bike. Oh, I don't want to ride a hill. No, 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 no. I just want to do fucking Kale Eat Scenes program or whatever, and you can do that. And you lose weight, but your metabolism is going to be, it's going to be, that's what's going to happen to you long term. And then when you finally start to eat properly, you'll, you'll gain. And you go, oh my God, what are you doing? And then you start, and then either two choices there, you start the yo-yo again, or you go, hang on, oh, understand the metabolic adaptions, adaptive thermogenesis, dietary thermogenesis, insulin, hormones. Contraceptive pill, anabolic steroids. You start to understand how all these things affect our body composition, our body weights, estrogen in the milk. People go, oh, but soybeans have got less estrogen. Don't need a cliff bar, it's got to be, like, what? And you're having dairy, ice cream, and cheese and shit, and it's full of estrogen, and your girl's on the contraceptive pill like it's fucking candy, estrogen. People just don't understand. And, and that's cool. Well, I didn't understand either. But dealing with thousands of people in the last 20 years, as a cyclist, focus on weight loss. You get to learn what works and what doesn't fucking work. What's sustainable and what's totally unsustainable. I've literally seen guys as lean as me, even leaner, become 120 kilograms and it ain't muscle. 
Alright, so I've seen a lot. I'm 38 years old now. I've trained with thousands of people. Thousands, man. Every fucking day I'm out there talking all my life. All I'm you wouldn't believe the the demographic, the resources, the what's the, what I'm trying to say, the pool of information I have access to from 100% personal experience. So when someone's, we're showing like long term results too. I'm, yeah, I'm 38 for this, 35. All right, lean, so lean. lean. We've got fucking smackies, man. Everyone today who sees me in my video in my mall later on will say that dude's a crack addict. He's a fucking cracky man. I'd have to convince police officers, dude, I'm not on heroin. They won't believe you. And it's just show on YouTube. Oh, the banana guy. Carry on, carry on. There you go, man. For weight loss to occur, you have to fucking understand what the fuck your goal is. If your goal is to lose fat, then you want to be an, a catabolic motherfucker. And if you want to be looking like a greyhound, you've got to do greyhound sports. Uphill cycling, uphill walking, forget running, because it's fucked on your joints, unless you're like a Kenyan who's been running from age two. Your just joints won't handle running, man. Unless you're like in the extreme 0.0001% genetically gifted joint-wise. It's not going to work. You can't take 20 years off running and go, I want to lose 50 pounds, I'm going to start running on the time. No, 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 not going to fucking happen. Even that barefoot uh, born to run guy, his joints are fucked. He claimed his vibe helped him, but now he's fucked. He's still overweight. He's still fucking fat. Doesn't make him a bad person, but it's just a bad strategy. You can't run for weight loss, man. Sustain it long term. It's not going to fucking happen. You can't water fast for weight loss and think it's going to It's not going to happen. It's like going, I'm going to buy something with my credit card today and I never have to pay it back. Shit's going to change. Your metabolism is going to change. You have to change your metabolism. You have to change your metabolism. You have to become more catabolic for life. You have to get rid of the stems, get rid of the hormones, and look after your thyroid. Thyroid, that's just a whole other subject. We've talked for seven minutes, I'm going to mention the thyroid. When you calorie restrict, you fuck your thyroid. When you restrict your carbs, you fuck your thyroid. Look at Joe Rogan. Dude's on heaps of drugs, he's still tubby. Little tubby chub tub. So it doesn't, even the drugs don't even work long term. You have to have dietary and lifestyle reform. What to fall? End of story.